Last year, this team was absolutely dominant, winning county, state, and tournament of champions titles. Although they lose two first-team All-State players, this squad has no shortage of big-time talent. Welcome to Winter North Jersey is Rich Barton, preseason edition. Today we're at Old Japan visiting the girls volleyball team. Last year they went undefeated, dropping just three sets the entire season. Today we'll be talking to head coach Melissa Landek and senior captains Maya Elowski and Becky Chu about the upcoming season. Last year this team went 26-0, winning the Tournament of Champions title to finish the season as New Jersey's number one ranked team. They lose All-State hitter Natalie Oleko and All-State setter Kelly Brogan. But the Golden Knights do return 6'3 junior middle blocker Julia Pisante, who will be one of North Jersey's top offensive threats for head coach Melissa Landek. This is a special season, you know, and, and you hope, you know, to have at least one of those as a coach in your career, and last year was certainly one of them. Um, we just had the perfect storm, the right combination of senior leadership, underclass kids that, you know, bought in and, and followed, you know, the leaders, so to speak, and it just it was a magical year. Maya Olovsky, she's been you know, a, a six rotation player for a couple of years now. She's a very smart player. She's got great volleyball instincts. She just plays the game very well all around. There's, I don't think there's a weakness in her game as far as passing, defense, uh, hitting. Uh, Becky Chu, she's she's done an outstanding job over the years in, in being a you know more of a, a back row player and and a, and, a, and a second setter for us and she's gonna be called upon to do a lot more for us this year and you know she she's ready she's ready it's her time to shine. We all have confidence in each other, confidence in our coach, everything and I know that um, every season we're just ready to come out. And I think there's always a target on our back, just being able to pan. And I think that's another motivator, big factor, component for us to work even harder and practice each and every day. This group of girls is so supportive every single year. And you know, you can trust everybody on the court. And Becky, the other captain too, like we've had a very good friendship or relationship throughout the years. So I think it's like a good component also. In our gym, we always work hard. We always give 110%. And I think that really helps us in our games, that we bring the intensity, we go for every ball, and I think that's what really helped us, and that's what just makes it more fun. A lot of seniors left, but I think the girls that came in this year bring the same amount of worth ethic, same amount of intensity, if not even more. And I think that like the more younger energy, I think it will really like help us. We were fortunate in having a, a starting libero that was a freshman last year. So, you know, the fact that she got all that experience under her belt last year as a freshman, I'm talking about Kelly Chen, uh, you know, will only bode well for her. She played in all those big games as, as a freshman. And so, you know, I think that experience has just aged her beyond her years in, in terms of, of where she's at. Uh, we also have Elizabeth Chu. Elizabeth is a junior who's also been a significant, you know, contributor in, in the back row and defense. So I think, you know, we'll play some solid defense this year. The Golden Knights have a tough stretch early on in the season, including back-to-back -back games with Demarest on September 20th and then Ramapo on the 22nd. It doesn't change from, from year to year. We just talk about being the best version of us that we can be, you know, and, and that means we're going to come in the gym every day to work hard and improve every single day. And, and after that, let's, let's see what we can do. If we make that our daily goal, let's see where that takes us. We know we're just going to work just as hard, bring the same amount of energy, and hope to achieve, you know, even more greater things. After further review, given some major graduation losses, this team could take a big step back. I don't think that would be the case, though. I feel Old Japan gets back to the Burden County Final, losing the IHA before winning the Group 3 state title and eventually falling in the Tournament of Champions semifinals. Well, that wraps it up here in Old Japan. Log on to NorthJerseySports.com and find out where I'll be next.